Hello guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and as you can tell from the title of the video, I will be trying on and reviewing all my favorite luxury denim from brands like Mies & Margiela, Totem, Mousy Vintage, Gucci, to name a few. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Let's start off with my measurements since that's a question I receive quite often in these type of videos. I am five foot, one inch. I'm very petite. In terms of sizes, I wear usually or small, sometimes an extra small. And in terms of jeans, I wear sizes 26 is the size that I'm the most comfortable with. Uh, in US size and in terms of European size I am a size 38 in Italian size 38 in denim mm, what else in terms of how much I weigh anywhere from 104 to 106 in reference to usual denim brands like Levi's I wear a size 26 so let's get started I want to start off with the pair that I'm wearing right now it's my Gucci Horsebit denim blue jeans. I've sized up in this jeans significantly larger. I got it in a size 31, which is a lot bigger since I usually wear a size 26. When I was browsing Nata Porter and I saw the model wear it, I saw that she was wearing it slightly more skinny and I wanted to style it in a bigger size. I actually bought it into just different sizes, size 26 or 27 and a size 31 and I ended up keeping the size 31 just because the way I wanted to style these denim. Some of the jeans I like to shorten the length. Like this pair I didn't bother shortening the length because I like to wear it cuffed and I know that the size 31 will hang really low and I like that look. I also added this additional button here that's what i usually do because if i do want to wear the jeans slightly more fitted i wear it like this way and then i zip it up here and then i zip it up so I'll, i wear it like this i think it fits quite cute even if i wanted to cinch it but if i wanted to tuck a heavier chunky knit i like to wear it baggy and hanging on my hips i absolutely love the quality of this denim uh, it's my first gucci jeans and the fabric is a hundred percent cotton and i like this um crossfit detail here i think it totally elevates this look of this denim and just the shade of blue is a blue that works both in the warmer weathers and also in the colder season so i love the shade of blue because it's pretty much a neutral denim blue in my opinion mm, what else the denim is 100 percent cotton it's stiff but still comfy and has a little bit of give no stretch but it still feels slightly more softer and not very heavy that's the gucci denim if I'm able to find this online, I will be sure to link them. But I bought this a really long time ago. I think I bought it sometime last year. So if I'm able to find it, I will definitely link this. I have definitely worn this jeans a lot, especially when I'm like bloated. I like to wear this, but in general, I just wear all of the denim that I'm sharing with you guys. I definitely wear them a lot. So moving on to my favorite brand in terms of uh, luxury denim. I think hands down my favorite brand is Maison Margiela. I have five pairs here from the brand. I just love the way it fits on me and I'm starting off in the most random order. This this denim, this pair, uh, some of these pairs have definitely been influenced by Hailey Beaver because I pin a lot of her style because I definitely love her clean cool girl aesthetics and I can share with you some of my inspiration pins from her just styling denim so uh, some of these pairs have definitely been influenced by her so this is one of the pairs that I had seen her wearing I fell in love with it because I thought it was so unique and I love this almost like a western style the way this jeans is designed is like the front bit hangs low but the back rides up higher so when you're sitting down your butt crack doesn't show so i love that and i also love these pocket details it has like this almost like a western style it is straight legged and all of my margiela press i am a size one italian size 38 everything fits fits true to size except one i will get to that pair in a bit but I did not have to resize the length on this one. It fits me perfectly and I absolutely love this. 
I feel like I could have gone with size 2 in this jeans, the next size up, but it still fits perfectly and it's definitely a more unique piece, 100% cotton because it has no stretch. The denim itself is slightly more heavier denim and I personally prefer no stretch heavier denim just because it gives me a little bit of volume, I feel personally, because uh, my legs are kind of skinny and I like to have a little more weight on my bottom part of the body bottom bottom part of the body if that makes sense so i feel like heavier denim and these non-stretch denim just looks more flattering on my more straight petite body which is why i always go for like these kind of fabrics because i feel like it flatters my body type the most second Mar margella pairs that are definitely an acquired taste and one of the pairs that i received the most questions in terms of sizes is this Margiela pairs with the slits on either side. I think this was at one point a really really popular jeans. I have it in the size 1 Italian size 38. I also had purchased I purchased this in both size 0 and 1 just because I wasn't sure how it would fit. That's the only downside of Margiela pairs. Margiela denim is I feel like each style the sizes run slightly different because just because I have one in a size one and it fits perfectly doesn't necessarily mean that the next pair that I purchased from them would fit the same way. It would, it would depend on the style of that style of jeans. So I had got this in a size zero and one. I ended up keeping one, which I'm glad I did because it is definitely more cinched at the waist and I think I could have even gone, gone with this with a size two. The reason I didn't get a size two on this is I thought that if I went bigger, I was concerned where this, this thigh slit would sit on me since I'm such a petite frame. So I decided to stick with size 1. There's still some room, mm, definitely more cinched on the waist and it's like this barrel style. Also 100% cotton for sure this one. It's that heavier kind of cotton that I like and these pairs were really long so I resized them. Uh, I, I took them to my seamstress and had them resized. I could even have just cut it myself if I wanted to, but I decided to just have this one have a more finished bottom just because there was a lot going on with the, with the slit on either side. I definitely love these jeans. I mean, every time I wear this, it's either I hate it or I love it. It's not a favorite of my mom, my sister. I just think they don't like it at all. But, um, and the shade of blue is a smidge lighter than my Gucci pairs, but definitely more of like a neutral blue. So you could wear it both summer and in the colder season. I just don't know how you'd, I'd feel about the slit in the colder season when it gets really cold. It definitely wouldn't keep you warm. But if you're looking for a cool, cool pair of jeans that looks different and it's not gonna look like your typical pairs, I would definitely give this a shot. Make sure to get it in two different sizes, just one size up, maybe one size true to size, and if you prefer a more cinch to going one size down, and if you prefer a more relaxed fit, going one size up, definitely something that you can return because it's not cheap to not be able to return it, so you wanna make sure that you are able to return these. Another Margiela press that I love is the five pocket jeans and this style runs big. I got it in a size 1 Italian 38 and it definitely ran big, the five pocket jeans. I wear this quite a bit uh, if I'm going for the really relaxed baggy fit. My mom absolutely hates this and the previous pair. She thinks I'm wearing cuties jeans and this is not her favorite pair so I usually don't wear it when I'm with my mom just because I want to keep her happy uh, but this is definitely one of those comfy denim that I throw on when I'm wearing a really I know you're not supposed to style baggy with baggy but I usually wear this denim when I'm wearing a really oversized knit on top and I wear this on the bottom with something cinched inside I just like that look of slightly relaxed bottoms with the nice chunky cardigan on top which is also on, on the more relaxed end. That's just a look that I really like. I feel like it gives it a very cool like I'm comfortable, I don't care kind of look but 
yeah this Margiela Paris I think it's part of the classic line if you uh, want to try this I would definitely size down in this I usually don't wash my denim so much but with this one I washed it twice and I ran it in the dryer on high heat so it shrunk a little bit which was nice but I personally wouldn't recommend drying your denim on high heat uh, especially if it's cotton denim just because it will shrink and the last Margiela pairs that I love this is the Margiela MM6 pair so these are the more affordable line that uh, Margiela makes because I wanted a white pair of denim and I didn't want it to be skinny I wanted it to be relaxed not too baggy either and um, I found these at Saks on sale it was a very spontaneous purchase and I love it because I wear it quite a bit it's in that again 100% cotton the um, denim is stiff but not very heavy so it almost feels like the denim that uh, my Gucci pairs feel like it almost has like that similar kind of texture and heaviness to it so it's not very heavy it's slightly more I wouldn't say lighter but it's slightly more thinner cotton definitely no stretch on this one either I don't know if I'm able to find these pairs since I think this is more of a seasonal piece but if I find something similar I will be sure to link them in the description box below moving on to this is this pair of jeans this brand this pair of denim I only discovered big again from pinning Hailey Bieber's look on Pinterest and I saw her wear these jeans and immediately did a search for it I was able to find the exact pair it's the Natasha Zinko jeans so in terms of sizing this is a UK size 8 US size 2 to 4 French size 36 and Italian size 40 so this denim has like this frayed edge and it also has like this pleated detail up front it's in like that almost acid wash denim button with a zip closure and again on this pair I added this button on here so if I do want to wear it more in a cinch I would just button it up here and then zip it up and it looks cute I adore this jeans I've worn this quite a bit especially in the summertime I love wearing this the thing about these kind of acid wash jeans if you do want to wear it in the colder season I would always style it with darker shades like black obviously uh, navy like a very deep navy I feel like then you can wear these lighter shades of denim in my personal opinion I don't think they look good with lighter colors I feel like it just the balance of the colors just gets thrown off and I don't like that look I usually always wear this denim with more darker shades even in the summertime i like to wear this with a darker shade i will share a few pins of Hailey bieber wearing it that I had pinned and saved and i was very happy that i was able to get my hands on this this is again 100 percent cotton but the cotton is definitely more softer no stretch to it but this is one of those pairs that i am i feel like i'm gonna have this with me forever just because they're not tight they're more relaxed fit and i can grow into them as i age if that makes sense I'm sorry you guys my battery died so another brand that I absolutely love is this brand it's a Japanese brand Mousy Vintage and I own quite a bit of jeans from this brand I think I own about 10 pairs of Mousy Vintage jeans but my favorite are these two in terms of color I obviously prefer this color it has a slight slit on the knee here and I just love the way this brand does distression like the detail on the distression I personally feel is gorgeous and the denim itself feels very high quality and luxe definitely none of the pairs that again I own from them have any st stretch but I do know that they carry denim that has a little bit of stretch to it the ones I own are all only all cotton so definitely no stretch and especially these two I love the distress in the pockets here like even here the way they do distressing is phenomenal it almost it's almost feels perfect if that makes sense and it's button closure 
And all my mousy pairs, I used to really size down because I was a lot more petite in the past. So I have them mostly in size 24. Uh, I think moving forward, if I do buy any jeans from them, I will definitely only be purchasing in a size 26 just because it feels a lot more comfy and if, if my weight does fluctuate, I'm still able to wear my jeans. So the next pair I own from them is this guy here. This is a size 26, I believe, which is why I think I wear this a lot more. Yeah, it's a size 26. I definitely wear this pair a lot more than all my other pairs because most of my other pairs are either size 24, 25. This one, I think, is like the perfect length. Also, all the mousy vintage denim, I usually don't have to resize. I feel like the length fits perfectly. This one, I absolutely love this pair quite a bit because I've worn this a lot has again that button detail here, button closure. It's more like a light wash denim, little distression, which again, in my personal opinion, is done to perfection, even on the bottoms. A slit on the knees and another slit on the other side. And I just love the way this jeans just hangs on my body and i also love the way i just love the placement of the slits on this jeans i recently haven't worn it so much just because i've been wearing some of my other pairs but there was at one point that i used to only wear these jeans it definitely makes my all-time favorite and if you are looking for a nice uh, quality denim and different styles i would for sure check the mousy vintage they have a beautiful range of sizes i know sex fifth carries them I think Bloomingdale's carries them also and they have a flagship store in Soho obviously service is incredible there and they have the best range of jeans if you're not familiar with the brand I would for sure recommend this try them out they make some good quality denim if you're looking to upgrade your denim and last but not least it is a new pair that I recently purchased a new pair from Totem um, Again, with this one, with this pair, I was, I wanted to get something uh, in kind of like this darker blue and something that's not very baggy, more of a, more of a straight leg denim just to wear it with my tweed jackets um, for a more kind of like a slightly more, I would say, more polished denim, not as baggy and casual as most of the pairs that I own. So I recently picked this. I was in between debating between the size 26 and 27. So I'll insert a photo of the model on the Tatam website wearing it. And I thought it kind of looked more slim fitting. So I got a size 27. I think I could have gone with a size 26 too, but I really like the way this 27 fits and the length fits perfectly because I think it's meant to be more of a crop length, this one. This is 100% cotton organic twisted seam denim and the shade I have is in the wash blue 405. The waist uh, is a mid-rise waist and it's a crop length so uh, although I got this in a size 27, the length fits perfectly. I also like this little totem detail that's on here on the button and this tan to tan waist. This has no frill, no distression. It's a true blue denim. The only different unique thing about this jeans is the twisted bottom on the ends. And I kind of like that. So this is one of a new addition that I picked up recently. And I like the quality of the denim. I don't believe I own any denim from Totem. I have a few ready to wear from them like coats, t-shirts, I even have a pair of like wool, kind of like a trouser shorts and a pair of boots that I recently purchased. But this is definitely my first denim purchase from Tutem. I am planning on wearing this today. I just received this in the mail a few days ago and I decided instead of sharing what I received new, I thought maybe I would instead do a video on trying out all my luxury denim you know because you can find a lot of reviews for levi's a goldie but you don't see a lot of reviews for these margella pairs or even the mousy vintage and i don't think i even i have even seen a single video on the natasha zinko jeans and that was something i had to buy online so i just threw in a hail mary and bought that size if you're trying to buy a slightly more expensive pair of jeans and you don't see any reviews of it online. Uh, hopefully this video would be helpful. I obviously have 
other brands of denim that I wear a lot. There's a Levi's pair that I always wear on repeat. A Goldie denim, the, the, you know, the one with the crossover waist. I wear that one a lot too. I just didn't put this on the video just because I feel like there are already a lot of reviews on those jeans. I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite pair is. Or if there's a luxury pair of denim that you like and you think I should try out, please leave a comment in the comment section below.